Doctor, one thing I imagine, you, know, you see injuries obviously in your practice from a whole variety of activities and even something like walking. Uh, let's talk about the importance of wearing the right footwear. Uh, I know in a lot of different sports, if you don't have the right support, you can really put yourself at risk for injury. So uh, maybe a little information about making sure you have the right footwear for the activity you're doing. Yeah, I mean, definitely you want to have, for walking activities, you want to have a shoe that gives you nice support uh, that, that may not be too hard, gives you enough cushioning when you walk, but, but something that gives you support when you walk. And I, if you're a runner, you probably appreciate more that you need to change your shoes every like three or 400 miles. Right. If you're just walking, you probably should keep that in mind too, because over time the shoes do wear out. Okay, good point. Now, we just talked about the footwear, but obviously a huge important item for a cyclist, a helmet. Can you please uh, remind our viewers why it's really important to have that on? I mean, honestly, that's probably the most important thing you need to do if you're going to be riding to work, you know, being safe. The best way to be safe is to wear a helmet. Probably the next mm -hmm. best thing to do is wear some kind of uh, vest or something that, that makes you look uh, easily seen, especially in those twilight hours when you're, when you're going to work. Um, the helmet in particular, you know, one of the, the biggest way that people get hurt on bikes is usually some kind of trauma. And the trauma can be something as simple as dri like riding over a, a stick and falling or, or hitting a pothole or, uh, or, or, you know, God forbid, getting hit by a car. So wearing that helmet, that's, that's going to help functionally keep you alive.